I think we were lucky. Some might say we were cursed, but we did a lot of touring on the last record, and it was beautiful because it made the band so much stronger. I think, if anything, what we learned how to do is more hear what's inside our heads and play it. And uh, if anything, it's made us not want to be a funk metal band and just be a musical band. Roll it. Casio. We're recording like 18 songs. We're gonna make up different, like write up different scenarios for how the album might sound. There's a lot of stuff that lets the melody feed, you know, and come up more in the forefront. And there's a lot of stuff that's real punchy and real aggressive. What I'm trying to do with this album is trying to figure out some guitar parts to play along with this crazy stuff. I don't know what the hell they're thinking of when they're doing some of this stuff. They don't leave too much room for me, so I gotta try and fit in somewhere. I've made a conscious effort this time to spend a lot more time and spread it out over a longer period of time, because last time I wrote the lyrics really quick. I took a lot from uh, an L. Ron Hubbard personality test. I was doing a little experiment with myself in uh, sleep deprivation and I basically wrote the entire song in delirium. That's it. That's it. Yep. That last thing's like a machine kind of god flesh kind of thing. Like March kind of drum beat thing. New new song. This is one of our country western songs we're doing for our new record. Mike will probably be playing a bunch of different roles sort of things, which I think is good. I hope he gets a lot of heat for it. There's a couple like character sketches about imaginary people. That's what the white trash one's about. It's about this real slob guy. Kind of identify with him. <laughs> that we can uh, get the same sort of reaction uh, with the new record as we got with the real thing. It's a very positive reaction. And uh, a lot of people thought a lot more of us than we ever thought about ourselves. It was kind of good. I think it's probably a good thing if computers just take over music. Because computers are a lot more messed up than people. And the more messed up and farther away music gets from music, the better, the healthier it's going to be for music. Take uh, The future of music, hopefully they'll come back to American, just basic roots, I think. Uh, just simple beats and real simplicity, I don't know. It